In this section, we will see how we can communicate from our VXLAN to the outside world. Okay, so we'll be using Leaf 5. So we have an external connection from Leaf 5. You can see we have an external router which is connected to Leaf 5. So we'll be running EIGRP between Leaf 5 and the external router. So uh, I'll show you what is the configuration uh, that we have to do. I'm on Leaf 5. So first let's go to the external router. We have a simple configuration. So show IP interface brief. You can see that we have one interface ethernet zero by zero, which is connected to leaf five, right? And the IP address is 78.1.1.2. And on the other side, on leaf five, we have the IP address dot one. We have two loopbacks which are configured on this sectional router: one twenty three dot one dot one dot one, one twenty four dot one dot one dot one. And we have simple EIGRP configuration. Show run section EIGRP. So EIGRP is running on the interface which is connected to leaf. Uh, Leaf 5 and on both of these loopback IPs. <clears throat> if you see the uh, configuration on uh, Leaf 5 here, so show an interface Ethernet 1 by 5, sorry, 1 by 6. So this is the interface. Let's put a description over there. Connected to external router, okay? So show run interface ethernet one by six. So this is the interface which is connected to the external router as we have the VRF customer A into our VRF. So this particular interface is also in VRF customer A. We have the IP address 78.1.1.1. And this uh, here we are running the EAGRP, right? So IP router EAGRP 100. Also, if I go to show run section EHRP, so the feature EHRP is enabled and we have the router EHRP 100, autonomous system is 100. And then uh, what we are doing exactly is that we are redistributing EHRP into BGP. This is what it is showing for the BGP configuration. So if I show you the BGP configuration, so we have the, into the BGP configuration, we need to go into the VRF. VRF is customer A, address family IPv4 unicast. We are redistributing EAGRP. And what exactly we are redistributing, we are controlling with this route map. So let me show you what exactly is there in the route map. So in the route map, we have the prefix. Uh, this is the route map name, right? So in the route map, uh, we are, uh, calling the uh, the prefix list, which is EAGRP, okay? So if I do a show route map, this is the route map EAGRP routes, okay? So in this particular route map, we are calling the prefix list named EAGRP. If I do a show IP prefix list EAGRP, so it contains uh, all the routes that we are learning from EAGRP, right? Both the loopback IPs, you can see, we are learning it uh, from the external router. So this is the only configuration, right? So first of all, let me, so interface connected to external router. is into customer A VRF, right? Enable EAGRP on this interface. And then redistribute EAGRP into BGP. 
okay that's the only thing that we need to do right i can show you again insurance section bgp so you'll go to the router bgp you'll go to vrf customer a address family ipv4 unicast and then redistribute eigrp into that simple configuration so now if you do a show ip route uh, eagrp 100 vrf customer a you can see that we are learning both 123 and 124 ip so for simplicity on the external router i mean i did not uh, do the mutual redistribution at leaf 5 because i just wanted to show you how the external connectivity works i just put a simple default route pointing towards leaf 5 okay so now if you go to uh, leaf five here, so we are learning it into EIGRP. Also, if you do a show BGP, and as I told you that for the SVIs and for the external routes that will be redistributed into the VXLAN. So there will be a route type five, right? So if you do a show BGP, L2 VPN, EVPN, only five, uh where are these two routes one here it is so you can see that a route type 5 is uh, generated right for 123 also and 124 also you can see in the bracket there is a route type 5 so if i do a show uh bgp l2 vpn evpn and this ip address you can see that uh, router 5 is originating this particular information. We have a uh, label, which is the L3 VNI label. We have the extended community, the RT value for BGPS colon the L3 VNI. Then we have the NCAP VXLAN for 8. And then we have the uh, router MAC, right, for LEAF 5. So now let's check if we received this information on other devices also. You can see I already shared i can again show you show bgp l2 vpn evpn uh where exactly are those so you can see we have a route type 5 for 123 ip and 124 ip as well right so you can also check show ip route vrf customer a you can see that we are learning both 123 ip and this 124 ip via leaf 5 you can see leaf 5 and we are learning it via the uh, bgp vpn right this is the l3 vni id so now <clears throat> if you try to reach from let's say any host which is connected to leaf 4 maybe to the loopback ip which is configured outside the vxlan right so if i go to host 3 And if I do a ping, you can see that we are able to reach outside the VXLAN fabric, right? Likewise, you can see that's it. So this is how we can communicate from uh, <clears throat> VXLAN to the outside world. I can show you, uh, let's say I create another loopback, maybe uh, Let's say loopback 3 IP address 125.1.1255000 or let's say slash 20 uh, slash 32. So router EIGRP 100. Sorry. Network 125.0.0.0. .0 .0 I do a show IP EIGRP interfaces. You can see that EIGRP is enabled on loopback three as well. If I go to leaf four, and if you check the same, you can see that we are not uh, getting 125 uh, IP address. So if I go to leaf five, and if I do a show IP route EIGRP for VRF customer A, you can see that we are learning 125 subnet, right? But if I do a show IP route VRF customer A, sorry, show IP, uh, show BGP L2 VPN EVPN, 
we do not have any information for 125. If I do a pipe include, there is no information. The reason is if you do a show run section BGP, so you can see we have a redistribution of EHRP into BGP, but we are controlling it, right? With the route map. If I do a show route map, so this route map is calling a prefix list, which is known as EHRP. And here, there is no configuration related to 125. So we need to configure uh, the 125 700 into this prefix list. So IP prefix list, EHRP permit 125.1.1.1 slash 32, enter. If I check the again, again the show IP prefix list, now let's see if we have the BGP VPN update. Now you can see, now we have the BGP VPN update for 125 as well as a route type five. You can also check only four. Now you can see that now we have the information about 125 as well using the BGP EVPN update, right? So this is how uh, we can communicate from uh, inside the VXLAN to the outside world. So that this is uh, how the route type five is utilized. So as I told you that route type five is purely prefix based. There is no uh, MAC address involved in that. So you can again can, uh, check this. So BGP L2 VPN, EVPN, and if you check any of this subnet or this route, you can see that there is no information related to L2 VNI or anything. It just have L3 VNI configuration, right? This is the route type five. You can see the MAC address field is empty. There is nothing inside that. So we only have the IP address information and slash value for the route type five is 224. So I hope now the uh, route type five is more clear to you because we have discussed it into the inter subnet communication within the fabric. And now we have seen how we can connect uh, the outside world to our the excellent fabric. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching.